live in Garfield Heights, Ohio. Uh, just watching some of your videos, like what you do. Um, you were talking about the uh, Kingsman D4 Pro. I don't know if you know this or not, but the people that make that are it's a Chinese-based company. And me personally, I will not buy Chinese products. I will not support Chinese anything. So I'm not sure if you were aware of it. Um, if you are, that's okay too. I just don't, wanted to make you aware. Uh, you see my number, so when I give a call back, that's fine. But I hope you have a great day. I love your show. Uh, take care. Have a good one. Bye. Did you pick up a little black soul? No, ma'am. It wasn't us. All right. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Oh, by the way, you're a Oh, all right. Cool. Oh. Thank you. I thought I'd give you a call back just in case there was something that you didn't get a chance to say to me that you really wanted to say to me, even though you're still continuing to watch my videos. You're calling me back? I am. Dude, I was like about to text you back. Dude, I, I didn't even know. Like, you're calling me back. Really? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You're still mad no, at me? No, I'm watch no, no. I'm still watching the videos. How did, how did you know I'm watching the videos? Well, I could hear it playing in the background. Are you still mad at me? Oh, uh, you can hear it? No, I'm not. I'm not actually. I'm. I can't believe you called me, because I kind. I'm understanding what you're doing, but I see like the uh, some of the videos where you in the background you see like this nice log cabin and stuff. It looks like uh, these these people are like getting rich doing this stuff, like you know doing shit they shouldn't be doing, not not doing what you shouldn't be doing. But well, that, I mean that... you're doing. Yeah, I understand what you're what you are doing. Well, that, this is this is a totally in. this is a totally different conversation than what you what you I believe you had called me a um, what, what was it that you called me oh, when you first called? bad words. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like trying to like I don't know. I mean, really, kind of, you kind of look at it like I didn't see all of it. I saw the first video. So, yeah, so you like, watch, so you watch it through it. So you no, watch, no, no, you see, so you watch just a little bit of the first part of a video, and then you called. To tell me I was a piece of shit. Yes. Just from yes, watching, yes. just from watching a little bit of the first of one video. I did that. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, I was going to text you and say, okay, I've kind of looked at this. I understand what y'all are doing. Like, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't have a with you, man. <laughs> well, sir. Sir. Hello. Yes, sir. And who had you do this? Uh, it's an it's a lot security calls us for the removal anytime they're parked in the uh, employee parking lot. Okay, yeah, this we've been coming here for over ten years, and uh, all we do is spend money here. That's what we're doing right now. We ran in to get a pair of shoes because I can't walk because I had a major health problem the last year. We didn't see any handicap parking, so we pulled up in there. Somebody could have been courteous enough to say, I mean, we hadn't been gone that long. Did you tow it back here and let us pay you? And you get your money. I'm sorry, sir. I mean, we have no way to get wherever we're going. We don't know a soul here. Yeah. How are we gonna get there? Um. And I tell you what, though, I'm gonna appeal this too. It, now, you want to play that game? That's on you, partner. <clears throat> I, I, I'm not playing any game, sir. I'm I, I, all you I'm know? doing is removing cars that are parked illegally. So you just ride around and look for that, right? No, sir. They call us for removal. Who called you? Lot security. Where are they? Uh, in and around the lot over there. Sir, there's there's no less than 10 signs in that parking lot. Plus, it's chained and gated. So if you wanted to leave, you couldn't leave because the, they, they locked the gate. Sure, it's not locked where we are. <laughs> I promise it's I locked. Prom <laughs> It's not. I'm saying it here with it. How many signs do you see around that parking lot? And it's even painted. Sir, it's even painted on the ground, mm -hmm. sir. Sir, see what? And it's even painted on the ground. Where? No parking. There's 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 about ten signs, and there's and there's painted on the ground. And I promise. Yeah, I tell you what. Yeah, it's really not. I'm gonna tell you, it's really not. Okay. Okay. Won't you meet me over here? Uh, you, if you want to come get your vehicle, you can come get it from our lot. That's the only way you can get it. <laughs> okay, so what, what do we need to call Uber? 
uh, Uber, cab. What's the cheapest? I mean, we. Where are you located? Uh, two twenty one Newman Road. Hey, sir. He went. He went two twenty one Newman Road. Where is that? No idea. I, I don't even. I, I live in Newport. Okay. All right. That's okay. Okay. All right. So what's your what's your address? Two twenty one Newman Road. And it's uh, it's registered owner. And uh, you're gonna hang up on me, and you're gonna get there. You're gonna complain that you don't know all of the information. Yes. Hey, this is. Uh, are you the guy that towed our car? Oh, the Honda Pilot. Yes. I, we at the trolley because we couldn't get a taxi. We're at the trolley place waiting for it. So, how long would it it'll be somebody there for us to get it? Um, I can get somebody back over at the lot and um, to meet you. You think you're what about 30 or 40 minutes? Well, you would be better, you would know better than me. Yeah, no, we gotta wait for the somebody, blue trolley. We gotta wait for the blue trolley. Okay, yeah, I'll I know we're not far from you. I wish you could come pick us up. Yeah, I'm sorry. They, they make us match registration to owner before we can release. Uh, but yeah, I can get somebody back over to the lot. Probably be about, uh, I'll be back over there in about 15 or 20 minutes, probably. Okay, but uh, please make sure we can get our vehicle. We leaving to go to Nashville first thing in the morning. Okay. And we've never even had a ticket in our life. Neither one of us. That's no way to treat visitors. Right. What's your name, man? My name is Jeff. Yeah, my name is yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. No way to treat visitors. Hi, so we are staying at Country Inn and Suites, and they gave us a, a parking pass to put up on our windshield, but it looks like there's a church that must own part of the Country Inn and Suites parking lot, which is possibly the weirdest thing I've ever heard, and I believe you have towed our car. First, I need to know, do you have the phone number for that church? I mean, I understand you guys are doing a business. That said, dollars for something like that? I mean, we live, we have lived in some pretty big cities. I've never heard of anything that high. That's, that's, that's highway robbery. I mean, those are- And I get, I get you can't do anything about that. That's, but you, I mean, that seems very much like a scam in a tourist city well i assure you it's not a scam um the the place that you parked you parked right in front of the no parking sign i mean it was directly across from your car no yes place. but what it looks like because it's in i would say 12 point lettering on a sign it looks like it is saying no parking for the country and in suites and because we have a pass that we have to put up there you would just think, okay, that's what that is. No. Because the exact same sign is on the park, the country and in suites. And it's sign. no, it says employees only. Um, but, but, okay, so if you're in a parking lot and you go, say you go to a grocery store parking lot and you're parked in front of Kroger, we'll say, do you assume that the sign <laughs> that's in front of you that looks exactly like the sign next to it that says Kroger parking only? You know what I mean? It's just, it all looks like it's part of the same parking lot, which I know is a secured parking lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't, it's not clear. And the woman at the front desk of the hotel says, this is something that happens all the time. That this happens, you know, every day. So frequently that they have a paper that they have printed up to give you the phone number for you guys. You, and from a church, that's pretty hardcore. It's well, I'm going to correct you there. It's, I mean, I know it's not. The, I mean, it, is, it is not. It is not the church. Those are numbered parking spots, and employees okay. that work in and around the area rent those so that they have a place to park when they come to work. So if you're in their parking spot when they come to work downtown Gatlinburg, then they cannot go to work, and they miss out on a day's pay because you are in their rented. So you don't. You don't think spot. you should put a larger sign there, or something to alert people? You think? You th I mean, I, I understand everything you're saying, but what I'm saying is if you have part of a parking lot that is a different parking lot, you don't think you want to make sure that people know that? Okay, on the same on the same token, you're telling me that they have a flyer printed up to tell you why couldn't they tell you that you couldn't park there if it's that big of a problem? I, I agree. I agree. And we're going to be talking to their management about that also. It's just we arrived here yesterday, and that is... We're on vacation. 
I work for the press. I'm here doing a story on on, on Gallenberg, and I'm right and now. We're probably heading back. Okay. <laughs> we're, we're done because I mean, I'm done, okay. and that's pretty. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I, I understand yeah. you're not going to drop it. You're not going to change it. I, I get that. What I'm telling you is, you've got to realize you must get this call every other day from someone who was parked at, you know, who is, is staying at Country Inn Suites, who thought it was part of the same parking lot and parked because it's all parked up here, and you've got the little thing that has to hang down, and you just think, oh, okay, you know, but that's it's, that's but it's not, and the, and you know, it's private property. You know, you you just can't park on somebody else's so you, somebody else's you property. But you and, and, okay, and, and have done everything possible. But you're it's not. A, it's a num. It's you've a physical, done everything possible. You, <laughs> Oh my God! Really? So you're, not, you're not even gonna you let me talk. There? If you're not gonna let me talk, I'm just gonna hang up on you. Oh, we're gonna play this game, huh? So you're gonna you're gonna do this. Listen, it is a it is a, what more can they do? They, it's a numbered, it's painted on the ground, a numbered spot, and then you parked 12 inches okay, away from a, the sign that says that you cannot. It's a do not, it. Okay, How much so you more tell do you me, need? So the, it's a numbered spot, but so are the spots at the country and suites. No, they're not. No, they're not. It, there's they're not no numbered. differentiation. Country and suites is there's not, not numbered. Even, it's not even, it's the same concrete. You know what it's, I mean? There's, there's not like no a numbers. wall or a division or things there's, that you kind of think of as being a division of a parking lot. So if you go, if you go park in your, in your neighbor's park, in your neighbor's yard, just because there's not a, a barrier there, does it, you, you can just do it? If you've purchased a house that has a driveway and half of that driveway is, is in your neighbor's space and you have believed that that driveway is under, that happens all the time also. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think you. I don't think you do what you've done. I don't. So you think. You know what's. You know what I'm noticing here. You are very good at explaining these things away, which is a sign of a scam artist. So I get it, man. You're a scam artist, and you're gonna laugh, and that's cool, man. So we'll be over there in a little bit. We're gonna give you. We're gonna pick up the car, and then we're leaving. You know what? So I know you don't care. I know, but we'll see it. I'm gonna let my husband do it because you probably don't want to deal with me. Oh, so, I, don't, I don't want to see you later, okay. man. Hey, tell him Monday through Friday. Uh, going home. Gatlinburg has a huge parking problem because they don't have, don't have built enough parking areas. I think, you know, I, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. My, my point is this. What you're, you're not going to let me make my point, though. It makes me not <laughs> want to ever go back to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, or anywhere in that area. If, if, you'll let, if, if you'll let me finish, I'll explain to you why I do what I do. Like I said, there was a huge problem for that in the area. Um, for instance, we had several parking lots for employees. Um, once those videos got to post and people saw the places that they could park and couldn't park, we, we rarely get phone calls for illegal parks in comparison to what we did 10 years ago or two years ago. So what we're doing is helping the area. These people, people like you can watch these videos and say, well, you know, this business is going to call on me. They're going to have my car towed away. And I've, I've seen this in a video. So now I know. And, and you'll tell one person, that person will tell another person before you know it. Yeah, I've got you're people. assuming what people's perspective is going to be. And I'm telling you what my perspective is, is like, wow. I don't want to go anywhere near there because if I illegally park my car, it's definitely going to get towed. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you illegally park your car? I got to drive around an hour to find a parking spot, and I end up parking in some employee parking. You, know, you would know that because there's some vehicle, but then you're filming people on top of it. So I don't think it serves the purpose that you think it's doing. I think it's actually doing a lot of the opposite of what you're thinking and putting not just you, but the city of Gatlinburg and the whole Sevier County and that whole area in a bad light. I mean, that's the way I'm perceiving it, and I'm letting you know that right now. Okay. That is my perception of what you're doing. Okay, and you have the right to that perception by all means. He's in the minority. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. I just... There's plenty uh, of parking. I, I mean, there's... I got a contact with you. It was great to actually speak with the guy who was posting the videos. Yeah, man. I mean, like I said, there's plenty of parking, and everything is well signed. So uh, it, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do, then there's never an issue. Nah, I don't. I don't think I'll. I'll, I'll ever. I won't say ever be going back. I, I, I definitely won't be going, spending my time, and certainly not my money, anywhere in Sevier County for a while now. So. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. Thank you, bud.
off Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's been brought to my attention by one of our clients um, that you are posting videos, I guess, on a channel, YouTube, I guess, is what I'm going to understand it of. Okay. Okay, we have mailed out a, 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 a cis and deceased uh, letter to you regarding this. Um, and you cannot legally uh, film people for the purpose of making profit. You, you can film in public uh, for the purpose, I guess, of uh, if you're doing it for public. Uh, but doing it as a business, filming into the public, I'm going to send over some of the statute codes uh, against this. Uh, we have mailed out a letter to you. Um, I don't know if you have a lawyer. Uh, you can direct this to your lawyer, and he can talk, contact my firm. Uh, again, my name is... Uh, this is, you know... When you're filming, uh, like what you're doing, uh, for basically profit, um, it's, it's, and you don't have a waiver signed uh, from them. If you notice, if you go to any place, uh, I guess it would be, uh, you know, possibly Dollywood or, or anywhere, uh, Disneyland, they uh, have a signage out front that clearly states you may be filmed uh for this purpose or whatever uh are you getting waivers signed by these people to for permission for them to be to be posted on these sites or how are you doing it i have i have no comment but um i will tell you if your client is uh i will be pursuing him as well for slander no sir it's not uh anybody would like well, what you're explaining to me is the exact same situation that he has explained to me, and, you, and you're using the exact same references. And I and I promise you, he he has been all over my Google and all over my email, and we will be pursuing him as well. Okay, this has nothing to do. This is someone that you have recently told their vehicle. Yes, exactly, and that's his name. Do you, do you have a name you'd like to share with me? Uh, his name is. Does that name sound familiar? Uh, yeah, again, I believe he goes by the name of, uh, okay. I have no idea exactly what you're talking about on that situation. Uh, but you have to have signed waivers, uh, for this. What was the date that we were supposed to have told him? Uh, if you, uh, let's see, hold on one second. Let me look. And then he hung up on me. I received a, a text message. Evidently, my phone rang and I didn't hear it, but I thought this was interesting. It was a voicemail. A voicemail. Check this out, guys. Hi, Jeff. I just wanted to let you know that you're f***ing worthless. Sam, I hope you have a good day. So, Bye. Bye, he says. Okay, well, it's uh, Odessa, Odessa, Texas. Let's see if Odessa will... Uh, Answer the phone here. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording... I won't stoop down to that and leave messages. Uh, maybe he'll answer the phone, so we'll keep you posted. If, uh, if indeed he does ever answer the phone, we'll make sure we get uh, that video out to you guys and see what, see what I've done to make this guy so mad. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Guess he doesn't want to talk. He's great at leaving voicemails, though. Hi, Jeff. I just wanted to let you know that you're f***ing worthless, Sam. I hope you have a good day. Bye. I work at the Severe County Sheriff's Office. Okay. I just wanted to know, you know, that uh, I, think that I think that's what's that. I think that's taking advantage of in this situation. And I'm going to be sure to relay that to uh, everyone in our department. And I'm going to uh, have a discussion, you know, with the uh, my bosses there at the sheriff's office. 
So, so your, so your person, so your personal business has something to do with, with, with this as a, as a whole department issue. And you're calling to threaten me about it. No, I told you. No, I didn't. I asked you how much it was and that I would, uh, uh, consider. That, that you would, you would relay this to your department. So you're calling to threatening me. No, I'm not threatening you, but where did you come up with $300? Well, why are you calling and threatening me? Why, why how did you come up with $300? I, I, I mean, I, I had you all tow vehicles for me for for a, a while now. How did you come? I mean, for, for a while now. Your customers? This, this is not. A, I didn't call to have them removed. They they called me to remove. I, that, I, I said I understand that she got towed and uh, her boss told her to park there, but you can't help that. But, but I'm talking about what you can help me is uh, give me a description of how you came up with three hundred. Well, I you know I would have been more than I would have been more than happy to help you with that if you wouldn't have called and threatening and do and, and do your threats okay, to me. Take it, take it how you want to take it. I, I, I will take it how I want to take it, and that's exactly how I take it. You call and tell me I'm going to relay this to my whole department and and, and assure that you won't get anywhere with this. If you ha- if if you do this to everybody, you won't have anything to worry about then. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. I know. I, I see where this conversation's going. How, much is, how, how did you come up with three hundred dollars? That's our standard fee for the illegal parks. This thing had to go on dollies. It had to be backed up down an alley that was in the middle of the parkway with traffic flowing everywhere. Uh, this this is my this is my cost of doing business. Do, do you know what it costs to run a tow truck? Matter of fact, I own the towing business. Matter of fact. Well, you must not, because if you're calling and 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 shooting your threats out to me, East, East Lexington Towing was the name of my business. I had uh, uh, I was on the rotations and stuff for the uh, law enforcement. So that's you know, and then now I come over here for this, and so I do have experience. So okay. well, how much is your storage fee? I didn't charge any storage. Just three hundred dollars. That's for my standard illegal park, non-attended tow. So the emergency brake said, I've got dollies deployed. I've got no keys in park, had to back it down an alley. I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's quite complicated to get a vehicle out of some place that she shouldn't have parked anyway. It's r- regardless of whether she's trying to tell me she ate there. I, I, none of that stuff matters to me. They called me because that she was parked in an... I'm not here to, to relay anything. Again, her boss is one, and that that, that has no relevancy. It, it, exactly, just I like the, the just like the part where you're saying that you're going to relay this to your whole department. It has no relevance on that. So why would you call and start your conversation with that? When you you uh you got to be fair to the customer. I am. Fa- they've got to be fair to me. Do you know what I went through to get that car out of there? Did, was you there? Three hundred. I mean. Until until you want to follow me and, and, and try to remove a car from the top side of a mountain in a, in a backside alley parking lot, until you want to follow me and, and do that whole process, then you can come to me and ask me and tell me what my prices need to be and tell me that you're going to you're going to turn me into somebody. OK, I didn't say, well, I, I'll tell you what uh, well, I say. I'll just re- I'll remember this the next time that we. Uh, well, you, you remember this and you relay it to your whole department if, you, if that's what you feel like you need to do. OK. All right, I'll certainly take that in consideration. You do that. All right, thank you. Don't need it, buddy. Thanks for calling, though. I appreciate the concern. How about you're a f***ing clown, you dumb f***? <laughs> Kill your f***ing shit. Ooh, then he hangs up. Such a short conversation. Big guy with lots of say. Hang up on me. The f*** do you want? Uh, you, you called me. Big yeah. guy with lots of with lots to say. I thought you'd want another opportunity. Come on with it. What's a f- opportunity for what? <laughs> Speak your mind, my friend. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Tell him you didn't catch his name. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. What a piece. Coward. Your call has been forwarded to. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voice. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm sorry, the person that's you enough. are trying to reach He's got has a voice. Coward. Coward. I 
I had probably the most terrible phone call that I've ever had. I just can't believe that somebody would, would do and say some of the things that this guy says in a phone call. And then here's the, here this morning we got this phone call and then I got another uh, a what's your address phone call and then a hang up. And uh, I believe it's I believe it's a commenter from a video because it, it seemed like the same the same fellow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give a phone call to this guy and just uh, see what's going on with the with the asking of the address and uh, the crazy comments here. So let's see let's see if we can get him on here. I'm, I'm pretty sure his name's Jordan. So you know. See if we can get him on the line. Jordan when you call. Ready? Sure. I can only imagine he won't answer the phone, but. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. Okay, anyway, guys, I'm sure he watches the channel. Uh, obviously, you're commenting enough to, to ask what my address is, and uh, the, the, the comment said something like, why is your address show up as a house for sale? There's no house at our impound lot. Matter of fact, there's, there's nothing but an office in our impound lot, so I don't, I don't know why he's, he's questioning me about our impound lot address and, and why he's calling me a scam because there's a house for sale that shows up for that address. I was hoping that he would answer the phone, guys, but sorry, he didn't, you know, just like the guy this morning. But stick around, stay tuned. I'm gonna get some of this uh, phone conversation uploaded and uh, get it out there to you guys. You, 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 like you, girl, you know what you sound like right now? You sound like you're about two years old. Political game. You're playing little political games with people. Can you get happy that you political? How is it political? Happy that How is any part of that political? You make a little video about it, and then you sit here on the phone with a stranger. How long will you do it? How long will you stay on the phone with a stranger telling you you're a half piece of? <laughs> as long as it takes. What, it, because you're gonna win? It, no, no. It's because it's because you're acting like you're two years old and acting like any part of this is political, and you're calling me and you're calling me racist comments. I'm not calling you a racist. I'm the racist. I don't like <laughs> anymore because the, you you can look on the internet wow. and you all are just acting like. <laughs> and then when I see this video, your voice sounds white. And I'm like, why is this guy treating people like this? Why wow. does he think this is okay? And then I look, and you have your, your face on there. I'm like, oh, he's half or he's not white. And he probably doesn't like white people. And he's probably going around in his tow truck business. He's probably trying to find a uh, You know, he's probably being predatory. He probably goes right to the little tourist area right in front of the an ice cream shop wherever people go and he knows people don't know there's no parking right there and he takes it and then he makes little videos and he thinks it's cool and you and, and you watch them you're not cool dude you're half and and when you half act that way and you put it on the internet you're turning everybody against you right you're turning everybody against you so maybe because the law allows you to have a business where you are predatory and you hurt other people and then you you enjoy it you enjoy making them mad you, you probably did the guy's transmission nut you probably know that there's nothing you can do about it that's why you're sitting here oh slam your door blah, 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 making all those stupid comments dude if you could get away with doing worse you would right it doesn't get any worse than this conversation then why are you still having it <laughs> because I, 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 because I'm recording it so I can put, so I can blast you on the internet as well, you racist. Please put it on the internet, please. How, how do you think I just know that you're half black? Off a little f***ing picture. Oh. Why don't you take a guess? Why don't you take a guess? How do you think I just know that you're half black? Because you're racist. One little f***ing picture, just, dude. Because you're racist. You could be something else. Are you half black or not? Are you racist? Are you half black or tell, not? Tell the world how racist you are right now. Are you half black or not? Hey, the world. It's none of your business. knew that this was half black before, based off one tiny little picture. If you've seen it, you would see how. That's a how great that's tiny little picture. Tell. But I can tell by his. I love that tiny little picture. Right? I can tell by the what he chooses to say. 
See, we were never, we're not judging you by your skin color. We're judging you by the content of your character, right? <laughs> I'm calling you because of the content of your character. Hey, I, I appreciate that phone call. It hurts me to know that people like you are out in society. Hey, you got a name you want, you want to put with the I channel? I don't like it. I don't like you. I don't like society. Yeah, but with racist it's like you in society that's that's what's wrong with society are racist behavior. like you you need to get away from white people you need to stop attacking them get away from white people get away from white people get out of tennessee go to, go to mississippi right when i go to atlanta right when i think i right when i think i've heard it all like white people go to africa that's run all by your people right you right. we'll live in a country that has all government and police force of your people. And then what you can do is you can be a f***ing savage. You can, you can really be yourself. You can be predatory. You can make videos of hurting up. You can, in Africa, you can just burn people in the street and make a video of it. You would love it over there. Yeah. In Africa, you can just do whatever you want. Well, that's cool. That's cool in Africa. You hey, can I, can I put in, can I put a name with a yourself. horrible, a horrible you don't person? Have to, you don't have Come to on, man. Give me your name. Give me your name so I can put it with this, person, such a horrible right? person you are. You don't are. have to sit here and go. Th Isn't it stressful and, and a lot of work to go through all the politics every day of pretending you're not a <laughs> and, and pretending that you like white people so that you can do business with them? Can I get a name Isn't for, a, for a horrible phone call? Hassle? No, no I name mean, at all? It's a lot of, you know, trying to hide behind it? Dude. I mean, you do it because you get hide? money. You get more if you're going to be this out, right? If you're, you're going to be this you outgoing, you can give me a name. Money by hanging around all the white people, right, and being a piece of <laughs> to them. I would literally would have. No, you won't, because you're a coward. That's why you're calling me on the phone. You're a coward. No, I take no, I. Dude, I'm in Oregon. I live in Oregon. Well, you're a coward in Oregon because if you were going to do something, you would do it to my face. Directly confronting you. This is you're not directly confronting. You're confronting me over a goddamn telephone. You racist coward. Still on the phone. You're still on the phone with me? I'll, I'm stay, on phone with you I'll stay on the phone with you all day. I'm going to keep putting the seeds in your head. You're hurting your community. Hurting? Dude, just because you run a quote on lawful, legitimate business, it doesn't make you a good person. It's not okay. You know what I mean? And this, and this phone call makes you a good person? Businesses that are pieces of organizations that you shouldn't be a part of, right? So, a tow truck driver... I don't necessarily think it's the worst thing in the world. There's good tow truck drivers, but you're not one of them. You're a half idiot, and you literally put videos online, like, displaying what a asshole you are. And just read the comments, bro. Just read all the comments. They don't like you. We don't like you. That's, right? Uh, that's completely yeah. fine. So, I can know, care less. that one just struck me because it's like, dude, at every level, it's like, here's this guy pretending like he's a good person running a business. He talks white. He talks a little bit white, right? But no, he's just a piece of He's just hurting people. And in his mind, he thinks that mouthing off like a child or a woman, dude, that's your professional business, right? That's your professional business. And when, when a customer who just paid you money but you just held hostage. You, you're holding them hostage. That's what people don't like. You're holding them hostage. So shut your f***ing mouth. That's a f***ing respect. Would you not... I have no respect for you. None. I, I would show you absolutely no respect. And if you, like I said, you want to come visit me at any time. No? First thing, this guy's calling me and, and feels the need to express himself, which it's a whole nother level to uh, to call me on the phone and tell me this stuff that, that it's just not acceptable. Absolutely not acceptable. It's kind of crazy. This guy, Landon from Oregon is all I could find out. We tried to look up the guy's phone number and, and see, you know, what's going on because there was a lot of threatening things coming throughout uh, the conversation, but it is not cool. That is not cool. I cannot believe some of the things that was coming out of his mouth. And, um, you know, that, you just hide behind the phone and, and say your horrible things. They get a 60 second short. And then out of that 60 seconds, he knows everything about me 
a lot of the commenters know everything about me and and they just assume that that I am someone that uh, that I'm not and uh, it's just not cool I just absolutely could not believe that 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 phone call came through there was another one that that was on the channel uh, I can't believe you're you're hiding behind your 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 address is not even an address uh, I, I don't know where some of this stuff comes from but anyway like I said I just wanted to just wanted to share that with you guys I'm going to enjoy the rest of this day. Stick around, stay tuned.